Hey guys, I'm Preston. And I'm Krista. Thanks so much for joining us again, and welcome if this is your first time to our channel. We are two people in New York City who love to travel, eat, and create memorable experiences. We also just finished our first ever itinerary challenge video series that chronicled two-week adventure over four Hawaiian islands. And if you haven't seen this, make sure you check them out. So we thought it'd be a cool idea to make this video for you to showcase our favorite moments at Oahu, the first island that we visited, and why they stood out to us. And we really hope you enjoy those and you can use them as an additional resource for your future travel plans to Hawaii. Shall we get started? Let's do it! So one of our favorite moments was Kua Loa Ranch. If you're on the island, whatever you're doing, make sure you can fit this in your schedule. Look at the pictures, it's absolutely breathtaking. It's an absolute destination for epic views and nature all around. It's also a location for so many well-known and popular movies and TV shows like Lost and Jurassic Park and even King Kong. But one of the coolest things you could do there is one of the tours. There are so many varieties that you can do. What we did is we actually chose the e-bike tour. It lasted about two hours cost about a hundred bucks per person so not that cheap but definitely worth it the reason why we really liked it is you're able to go literally as fast as you can what we notice is all of the tours like horseback ridings or atvs which kind of sounds cool when we're riding on our bikes looking around and seeing them all around us they're actually in a line and they can't go as fast as they want so if you're all for speed if you're adrenaline junkie definitely go over the e-bikes but beyond that we had such a blast there's so much to soak in nature wise information wise about all the movies and, and the sets there too so it is absolutely a blast uh, definitely go there loved it One of our other favorite moments was going to Uluau. We were told by a young college student who was manning a food truck we visited up in the North Shore that we had to go to a luau run by a family of Samoans because they really immersed the attendance not only in Hawaiian culture but other Polynesian cultures as well. What we also discovered is for the cost for attending the luau, there's three different options you can choose from. You can get the silver package where you're a little bit further away from the stage for $88 the gold package, which is $122, or the VIP package, where you're up front, close, and personal, and you can pay $155 for that seat. For all these tiers, you also get access to the Waimea Valley that you can visit before the Luau takes place. Unfortunately, we didn't do that, so we'll definitely do it again in the future. And what we really loved about Tua Luau is the intimate setting and the myriad culture activities that we could take part of. We were involved with making our meal, like appetizers of a taro pudding, which is like a coconut milk. Scoop some coconut milk. You can scoop it yourself if you like. And then just have it. That are wrapped in taro leaves. And we also were able to husk some coconuts uh, to get the coconut water and the meat out. And we also saw this really awesome palm tree race, which is really fun. was delicious and the cultural dances were phenomenal. Not only did we see you know, Hawaiian hula dancing, but we saw other variations of Polynesian traditional dances from Tonga, Tahiti, and of course the quintessential Samoan fiery dance. So all in all, it was such a lovely experience and we learned a lot about Hawaiian and Polynesian cultures and we absolutely enjoyed our time there. So our next favorite moment was the Diamond Head Crater Hike. We had so much fun and we wish we could do it over and over and over again. So while I know on the island there's many different hikes that we could do, we were really grateful and excited that we're able to get this one done. It's one of the most popular hikes there and it's definitely worth it. So it's a very short, moderate hike. Very easy for people of all different types of experiences and skill levels. And it also is really short. It took us about 30, 40 minutes. It's 2.9 kilometers from the bottom to the top. So, Awesome. A couple of things that we do want to share from our experience I think would be helpful is number one, get there early. It opens about six o'clock every morning. We actually got there initially at 5.45, uh, which brings me to my second point, bring cash. So we learned the hard way. First of all, it's not free. If you're going there by car, you need $5. If you're just walking up, $1. We didn't know that. So what happened is we actually got to the toll booth. We found this out the hard way. We had to actually turn around, go all the way down to the mountain, 
find a random ATM, get cash, and then join the back of the line. And because of this, unfortunately, we missed the sunrise, but still worth it. So the cool thing about this is that when you're going up, even though it's a short hike, there are a lot of really fun variety of terrains that you can experience from flat ground to incline, and then even climbing up a spiral staircase to crawling through narrow tunnels, only to come up to an awesome view of the crater, Waikiki, and Honolulu. Finally, when you're up there, make sure that you bring repellent with you. There are tons of bugs and mosquitoes everywhere. You don't want anyone or anything to bother your views or experience. So make sure you put some stuff on you before you start the hike and you'll have a great time. And we just had a blast. It's a great hike that you can enjoy with friends and family. It was one of those hikes we can go up, enjoy, come down, get on with the day. And uh, next time we're gonna check it out again. We were really excited to have also discovered Maru Kame Udong. At that time, it was one of the highest Yelp rated restaurants on the entire island. So because I'm Korean and because Krista is half Japanese, we are always on the lookout for quality Asian restaurants that we can go and devour their delicious food. And when we found about this place, we just had to go. So instead of serving traditional Japanese foods like sushi, we wanted something that they serve just comfort Asian noodles. So think of thick, white, chewy, wheat noodles in a delicious soy sauce based broth. It's also super affordable. I think the dishes start from about $3.90 all the way to about $7. So you can really eat at your heart's content and just have a feast with your friends and family. We ended up getting the Niku Tama Udon, which is basically the noodles in the broth with a couple slices of really tender beef and a soft boiled egg beautifully cooked. We also got on the side of it tempura. So it's basically perfectly lightly battered and fried assortment of vegetables. Reminds me of when my mom would make udon tempura for dinner at home growing up. So just, woo! <laughs> the little dunk, the soup. Whoa, lost some there. Mm. <laughs> so good. And when we got there, we actually got there when it just opened. Another fun fact, it's always crowded, always popular, so make sure you go when it opens. But everything was fresh. Even the tempura was so lightly fried. When you eat it, you don't feel gross, you don't feel too oily. The lightest and perfect crunch to it, and the noodles and the egg and the beef were just fantastic. Didn't have to pay too much. Walked away super happy, and we crave it every day to this day. And finally, one of our other favorite moments on Oahu was visiting the National Historic Landmark of Pearl Harbor. It's free to visit and go see the five different attractions that are on the park premises. It's also important to keep note that bags, backpacks, luggage aren't allowed on the park premises. So either have those stowed in your car or you can have them securely stored for $5 at a luggage station not too far from the park entrance. And the visit to the USS Arizona is free as well. You just have to select a ticket time and reserve a spot to go watch a movie describing the events and then you'll get on a ferry to view the USS Arizona where you can remember and honor the devastating attack that took place. And for us, it was really important and significant to come to Pearl Harbor because we were able to not only learn about history, but soak ourselves in the immersive stories of the valiant efforts of the servicemen and civilian heroes and the numerous exhibits also enlightened us to the fact of the different perspectives of viewing World War II and also understanding how this attack shaped not only American history, but world history at large. We hope you found that helpful and enjoyable. And also let us know in the comments below what some of your favorite moments are from Oahu. We'd love to hear from you guys. And if you haven't done so, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that bell icon so you know when that next video drops. With that said, guys, thanks again so much for Thank watching. You. Super grateful, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye-bye.